Welcome to April's career and money video. This is for your rising sign. Yes, I said rising sign. Um, if you're watching this for other parts of your chart, that's okay. Some parts might hit, some might not resonate, but this is going to be most accurate for your rising sign. And this video here will tell you why. Um, our general readings for the month, you can see right here, love are coming. And um, the general ones are for your sun sign. So go ahead and check those out for more information. And then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, if you like these videos at all, so that when the loved ones do come out that you're alerted, make sure you hit that little notification bell as well, okay? So this month we are looking at what is the general career and money theme for you? What do you have to look forward to this month in career and money? Um, what is going to be your biggest annoyance? What do you need to look more closely at? And then there's just some general overall guidance and advice for your career and money situation this month, okay? Aries. What does career, whoa, okay. So first of all, there's a challenge in career. And they're saying the challenge is to see things positively, okay? Instead of focusing on what's going wrong in career right now, let's focus on what's going right so we can attract more things that are going right, like more things going good, so that we can almost mitigate any damage that could potentially happen, okay? So that's the first thing they say. Okay, so what do career, and what do money look like for you in the month of April? Career, um, so they wanna start with those of you who are not working right now. They're saying be super open to um, offers that might come for you because they might be worth taking actually. Um, they're saying it would be working with somebody else, but it's an awesome opportunity for you in the future. So this could come through uh, by way as, you know, maybe a potential, hey, um, let's build a new business together. Here's an idea that I have that we will put to use in the future when coronavirus stuff is done. Or it could say, hey, come and work with me. Um, you know, depending on where you live, that may or may not work. But just be open to it because I think new things are coming for you that are potentially really, really good for you, like awesome financial moves as well as career moves. Now, for those of you who are um, working right now, they're saying changes that happen might not feel very good. They might be kind of scary, but they're actually for the better. And um, they don't want to say too much about that right now because it's not necessarily something that you're manifesting, but it's like one of those things that as something occurs, then perhaps, even though it seems kind of scary, it seems kind of like icky, down the road you look at this and you're like, oh my God, that was the best fucking thing that could have happened to me, like, right? Like retrospectively. Um, and maybe the reason they don't want to say anything about it more specifically is because it will be a specific situation um, for each individual, in which case a personal reading might be a better situation for that. But as far as money goes, for those with Aries rising, what they're saying is you kind of already know what's going to happen there. Um, trust your own instincts and not what other people are telling you. They say the details of like what's going on with money and stuff isn't necessarily super important. You want to be thinking about things in big picture, broad strokes. What they're saying is you might not be as comfortable as typical this month, which is probably the case for a lot of people. But what they're saying is this is not a long lasting forever kind of scenario. So think about the long term, bigger picture of things. OK, don't get um, too stressed out and caught up in the details of little things that might kind of annoy you or stress you out this month. Um, they also want to talk about a challenge specifically in regards to money. And they're saying the challenge is to um, for you to really put it out there, like what it is that you have to say. If you have to criticize somebody, if you need to like tell somebody now is the time to pay you back, like a debt that they owe, that's not easy. That's gonna be hard. But if you need it, you need it, right? And we don't have to, I mean, obviously we are sympathetic and caring about other people's situations. Otherwise we wouldn't, for example, have borrowed them that money or whatever. But now's the time that you really have to say, okay, you know, this is, this is how things have to go right now because you're also struggling. Um, so, I mean, if that's you, for others of you, it's more about just saying, hey, here's what I need. Here's what I deserve. You know, for example, if you work in healthcare, it's like, hey, um, I am demanding I get overtime or hazard pay or at least the equipment that I need to continue doing my job, for example. Um, they're saying it's going to be hard here to not feel sneaky or dirty or devious as you do that, but you have to remember you're not. The only person who's gonna put yourself, who's gonna put you first is yourself, right? And if you fail to do that, who's gonna do that for you? Fucking nobody. So you have to, 
okay? Now, um, what do you have to look forward to in career and in money? And so in April, they're saying, like I mentioned, for some of you, there's going to be some changes coming your way that make you uneasy, that make you feel unsettled, that make you nervous, but they actually end up to be a good thing for you down the road that you look back on this and you're like, oh my God, thank God that happened. Okay. So try to just go with the flow and not get too stressed out when it comes to career things. As far as your money goes, again, um, like I mentioned for, for those of you who aren't working, I think it was, um, whether you are or you're not working, money in general for people with Aries uh, as their rising sign, Aries in general, but Aries for rising more specifically, you're going to, um, there's just like all of these opportunities that can kind of flow to you. So pay attention and be open to those. Somebody might say, hey, I don't know if you've heard about this program to lower your electricity bill during the coronavirus. You might go, eh, it sounds like a bunch of time and labor to fill something out where maybe I'm just gonna like, get $10 off or maybe I don't even qualify, right? Like that's how I often feel about that kind of bullshit. But they're saying in this case, be open to it because it might work out better for you than you even thought, okay? So what's going to be your biggest annoyance this month in career and then in money things? In career, what they're saying is what you don't know, what you can't see, that happens around like the new moon, that's gonna really annoy you. The fact that you don't have all of the answers and you feel like you should. Um, and then also some things are just left up to luck, okay? Um, that's gonna really annoy you as well as kind of like feel, when you feel nothing, you're going to feel specifically more annoyed than if you felt sad or bad about something. When it comes to career, if you're feeling a little bit empty, it's gonna drive you bonkers. But do remember there are a lot of positive things here. They're saying there's a lot of luck and a lot of opportunity and like a lot of things that maybe seem or feel bad initially but end up to be amazing for you. So um, as far as money goes, the biggest annoyance is that other people who are like, you know, totally positive and they're like, hey, um, you know, there's always a silver lining. They might annoy the shit out of you. Um, and, you know, I mean, sometimes they can be a little bit extra, right? Because there is optimism and there is positivity, but there's also realism and we need to have a healthy balance. Um, we should always choose the positive side of things when we can, but it's not always possible. But, um, you know, the people around you that are just like kind of exuberating this positivi positivity and stuff, they're not going to make you feel more hopeful. In fact, they're going to make you feel more hopeless because you're not necessarily vibrating the same way they are. You're not on the same wavelength. So that annoyance is actually kind of a mirror for you to go, okay, wait, where can I improve a little bit? But it doesn't mean you still shouldn't, it's okay to create distance between those kinds of people and yourself, okay? Cause you have to keep yourself sane. Um, so there's that. Now, what do you need to look at more closely this month in career? They're saying, think about what you're really confident in and what makes you feel, you know, really on top of things. And then they want you to think about like in your past, what was it that you did like in your career that made you feel really joyful and happy? And they're not necessarily saying go back to a different career than one you have now or, um, you know, step down from your current position and take a different one. But they want you to go backwards and think about, you know, times in your life where you felt really confident and when you felt really um, kind of joyful and you liked what you were doing. Now, the reason why they're saying, is because we want you to remember that history doesn't always repeat itself in a negative way. How Think about how can you bring some of those things back into what you're currently doing, okay? Or different parts of your life like that were positive. How can we bring those back into our life now so that we can feel happier and more content with our life, just generally speaking? In regards to money, they're like, you're lying to yourself if you think you can control things. You know that you can't, okay? And so, I mean, it is what it is. There's no sense in being upset. Now, they're saying the best thing that you can do right now for your money situation is to change the way that you feel about money. It's, it's good to actually love money. It doesn't make you, um, you know, a materialistic douchebag. I actually, I don't wanna spend too much time on this. So if you go to the description box below, there is, it'll look like this. So you know what you're looking for, a blog post that tells you how to kind of like shift this vibration that you have with money and get to the point where it's easy to love money and therefore start attracting it into our life very easily, okay? Now, um, is there any more general guidance that I have for you in regards to career and money? 
for April. And what they're saying is career, if you love what you're doing, awesome, keep doing it, right? Even if you can't do it right now because the government says you can't or something like that. However, if you are completely like, if this time is making you realize how much you fucking hate your job and you hate what you're doing, they're like, remember that money is not always the most important thing, especially when it comes to our quality of life. We can have all the money in the world, but if you never even enjoy spending it, what good is it, right? And so they're saying, th this is when we want to start thinking about what does success mean to us? Not what does it mean to other people, but how can I personally feel like I'm doing a good job, like that I am a successful person without like thinking about how other people think, right? Like if you become a lawyer because your parents wanted you to and you're miserable, okay, what does success look like to you if you didn't have parents or people that you needed to please, right? Like what would you do if you didn't have to work and everyone just like, you know, kissed your ass? and they thought you were amazing no matter what you did. Like, what would that be? And how can you incorporate that more in your life or do more of that in your current position or find a position that allows you to do that? Does that make sense? As far as um, general guidance for money goes, is they're just like, hey, the cycle isn't over. But again, broad strokes. Think about the big picture. The little details right now don't fucking matter. You know, it's easy to say um, and harder to apply, but, you know, try not to have, try not to panic about the little things. It's, it's the big things that matter, okay? Love you so much, and I'll see you in May.